Hi YouTube, my name is Aaliyah. This is my first ever post. I am posting to document my hair journey because um, I was doing research and found that there was not a lot of information that I needed. So I feel like this video may help someone. Um, I wanna start by saying that I've been natural since 2003. Um, and so the reason I am documenting my hair journey this time is for a totally different reason because I think it's going to help somebody who is like me with very fine, very thin hair. And my hair is not thinning. It's always been thin from when I was young. Um, so basically I started off going natural in 2003 while I was active duty military and um, I was natural until 2007 when I decided to start locks in my hair. Um, I started my locks and I kept them until 2011 and then I combed them out. Um, and yes, it took a lot of pain and struggle. And um, I used a, a lot of people don't think you can comb them out. You can't use a regular comb. I use safety pins, um, stick pins, whatever you could use because it's matted hair. So it's really hard. I did lose a lot of hair in the process, but that's to be expected. Um, but my hair was still long and I didn't have any issues. My hair is still about down to here, so not really any issues. But I wanted it to be more versatile, so I took it out um, and did something, you know, stayed with the natural for a while. And then about a year later, I decided to put my locks back in, so I restarted them. I kept them for about a year. They grew. Um, I wanted to go be versatile again, so... I, um, color, well, first I colored them bright fire engine red. It was beautiful. I loved them, but then I got tired of them. So I cut them off. Um, but before I did so, I talked to my loctician because I only deal with people who do natural hair. Um, no offense to the other hairstylists, but I find that somebody who specializes in natural hair, especially locks, has a lot more information, um, for me, um, so that was helpful for me to find out that they can be reattached. So I, then I cut them off and I went about that for a while. And then I had them reattached um, because I missed them. And I hate doing hair. Hate, 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 hate doing hair. So I had them reattached. Once I reattached them, I kept them for a while. And then again, I got tired of them. So snip, cut them off again. Did a lot of different colors. Now I am gray. Um, this is not my natural hair color. My natural hair color is um, a light brown, but I did gray. So I've been through the bleaching process and all that. Um, be careful when you do that. If you do want to do that, um, I'll talk about that another time. But um, uh, it's a process and it takes a minute. So you have to be patient and you have to go through some really difficult stages before you get to sheer white and then being able to put the gray in so but that's a different story um anyway so this gets into my sister lock journey um i decided i really am tired of trying to figure out what to do with my hair and i saw somebody with sister locks and i fell in love i think they're beautiful they're low maintenance it's the only um natural hairstyle that doesn't take product really um, and doesn't take a lot of maintenance, very low maintenance, um, other than making sure you continuously get your um, retightenings every four to six weeks as you're supposed to, to keep your hair maintained. Um, but you don't need all the other stuff. Like as in traditional locks, I had to have the locking gel and all the different stuff. I put oils in my hair, all that kind of stuff to keep my hair looking shiny, pretty and healthy. Um, Sister locks is a different story. So, um, I found a loctician and who does sister locks certified. And I went on, um, if you Google certified locticians, a site will come up where you can find anybody who's certified to do locks in any state, um, in any state, in any city in your state. And they can be, um, certified. They can be a trainee or they, and they can be R certified. R certified means that they can teach you how to do locks as well. Um, the sister locks anyway, as well. Um, so that's what I found. And um, my stylist is going to be Miss Loretta Ann Taylor. Um, I'm so thankful to her. Yesterday I had my consultation. I was so excited to go. My hair is really short, as you can see. 
and it's very fine. Um, it doesn't look like it now because it's dry, but when it's wet, it's so slick to my head. It's almost like you can see my scalp, and I don't know if a lot of you have that issue, but that's a big issue for me, um, which is why, like, I don't, even when I had a perm, my hair was so, you know, when you perm, you perm your hair, it's so slick and nice and neat and all that stuff. But it was so flat to my head. I had no body because my hair is so thin. Um, it's really hard to tell, but it is very thin. And my hair is generally naturally curly. But like I said, right now, it's dry as a bone. Um, so yesterday, I went for my consultation for my sister locks. And we talked about all types of hair textures. We talked about um, would sister locks be ideal for me? And when you go to your loctician, ensure that you have any concerns you have, you discuss with her. I also discussed any medications I'm taking, what my regimen is for my hair, what kind of products I use in my hair. And I don't generally use a lot of products in my hair anyway. Um, I use shampoo and conditioner. And since my hair is gray right now, I'm using a special shampoo for gray to keep because I know I don't know if you guys have seen people with gray hair but they have a blue or purple tint to it well you need a special shampoo and so that's what I use so that I don't get that tint um and I use oil like olive oil or something like that to keep my hair and my scalp from being so dry but I washed my hair before I went to her yesterday and didn't use any product which is why my hair feels so dry and looks so dry right now because you can't have any product in your hair when you go to get them done and so when I went there they did she did um, some sample sister locks and I was really worried that my hair was gonna stand up all over my head and be all over the place um, and that it wasn't gonna look right and it was gonna look super spacey but the truth is it doesn't I don't know if you guys can see here are my sample sister locks and like I said my hair is short but they're not super spacey they're very pretty I fell in love as soon as she did them yeah I fell in love with them I love them this is gonna be like a great hairstyle for me so low maintenance um, and the she said, you know, you have to have at least two inches of hair. So she measured my hair all the way around. So up here, I have two inches. And in the back, it's one and three quarters. Because when I cut it off, I had it cut into a style. Because I was, my goal was to grow more up here and less back here so that I can grow it out. Um, very different type of person. A little eclectic. Something like that. So I don't know if you can tell. You know, so I'm a bit different. I like things different. But um, I just wanted to just kind of start off with this video. Um, to follow, I'm also going to have a slideshow just so you can see where my hair journey began in 2003, where I began being natural. And then I progressed into my locks, how they have grown over the years, and then me cutting them off and then putting them back and then cutting them off until now so that you guys can see where I've been and see how long my hair was and all that. So this has been a journey, but this is going to be the greatest journey because this one um, I plan on keeping my sister locks forever this time because those give you a lot of versatility um, I can curl them it's my own hair um, and it's not like regular locks regular locks you can curl like if you use curlers or something like that but I mean with like a curling iron or something with sister locks because they're so small as you can see it's almost like you know just strands of hair um, so when they grow out even Oh, that's the other thing. When your hair is so thin um, and fine, as they say, when your hair is fine and you have a curly texture, um, the good part about that, the sister locks, is while they start off small, what happens is water will expand them and everything. So over time, your hair begins to look fuller. Um, the sister locks will give you a much fuller look um, and very pretty. So this is what I can't wait to see. Um, so yesterday was April 3rd, 2017. So I can't wait. Um, I'm going to update you guys monthly as to what's going on with my hair journey. 
maybe more often if I find out more information or if anything changes. Um, just so you guys can get a good look and really understand what the process is, how the process goes and the, um, how the journey goes, because at the end of the day, you know, you really have to have patience. Nothing happens overnight. Um, they say good things come to those who wait. So I'm willing to wait and be patient for my hair to grow and get the look that I'm looking for. Um, I know it's not going to happen overnight. For those of you who are wondering about extensions, um, they can be done on sister locks. I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm not a loctician. But most of the sister lock locticians that I've talked to, they don't do the extensions on the sister locks. They do not like to add them in. Um, and at first I wanted extensions because I didn't want to deal with the short phase. But at the end of the day, I think I'll be much more pleased when my hair grows a lot fuller, a lot stronger and a lot healthier with it just being my own hair. Um, the other thing is I like to color my hair. I'm not going to do it as often because I will have sister locks, but I like to color my hair. And sometimes even when you buy human hair, the color does not take well, so your hair could be all one color and then the extension is going to look another. So I don't know if that's something that you really want. But um, again, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to keep you updated as often as possible. Um, and come back and watch my channel. Subscribe. Look down. Bye.